Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jeanette here and in today's video we are going to be talking about hairsprays and when to use them. So if you're interested, stay tuned and we'll get started. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, I make videos every Friday and I try to address common questions that my clients and my friends and family that have asked me throughout the years of me being a hairdresser. If you ever go into the salon and you think it's, oh, this is a dumb question and I don't really want to ask because I'll it will make me look stupid, right? Have no fear, it's what I'm here for. So if you're interested in stuff like this, you should subscribe, like this video or all my videos, and then I'll have more for you. Okay, so first off, this video is totally not sponsored. I bought all these products with my own money and I use these products on all of my clients because I enjoy using them myself. But if you ever happen to be around and watch my videos, feel free to give me some stuff. Just kidding. So first hairspray we're going to talk about is the Redken Triple Take 32. This one is an extreme high hold one and I really enjoy using this one when I really need a strong holding hairspray if I want my curls to stay all day all night. I use but this on men, I use this on women, kids, you name it. As long as they want something to hold all day, then I go with this. And usually I find in the Redken line the number indicates how strong the strength of the product is. So in this case, 32 is pretty high up there. So it is pretty strong. My only dislike about this is the smell of it because it smells like the traditional aerosol hairsprays. I kind of wish they did some better sense, but it is what it is. So that's the Redken Triple Take. Okay, for our next hairspray, it is the Pureology Lock It Down Color Safe. So that's what this one looks like right there. And this one is designed for color safe hair, like it says on the label. So these are for my ladies that have colored hair and they want something light so that they can still run their fingers through their hair. So it's movable that way. So it's not that sticky feeling that you get in the traditional hairspray. One of my favorites. Good job, Pureology. I love this stuff. Keep making it. Okay, so for our last hairspray we are going to talk about today, it's from Design Me. It's called Hold Me Three Ways. That's what it looks like. Excuse my nails. I'm gonna get them done tomorrow. This one's kind of neat because it's basically made for lazy people such as myself. Nothing wrong with that, of course, because people are just lazy these days. I like to have those all-in-one type products because that way I'm not spending so much money on different products. But hey, if I do need them, I will get them. Don't get me wrong. But this is neat because it's a three-in-one, basically. If you have watched my other videos when I curled my hair, I did show the top here. And basically, you can pick what strength you want of the hairspray on, depending on the style that you're doing. So I'll give you a little demo. This one is low. This one is medium. And then the last one on high. So I don't know if you could see that, but basically it mists out really light. I don't really have any dislikes about this hairspray. It's like almost empty. This hairspray is really good if you just kind of want an all-in-one type and it's neat because there's a little bit of a shine in here too and it's good for UV protection. So that helps with color not fading as fast because that's what the sun does. It makes everything yellow and gross. It's just not good. I never thought it would be a question, but a lot of people do ask me, how do you use hairspray? So you know what? I am going to do a demo as best as I can because my hair is not styled right now, but we'll work with it. I have seen people use their hairsprays like this close to their scalp and I'm like, oh my God, what are you doing? Because all that is going to do is make a really, get a, I guess a splat of product on your scalp and it's just going to be all crunchy and it's just, no one's going to be happy and it just looks weird if you see it from a mile away or if you run into people like me that will notice your hair. <laughs> but the correct way to hold a hairspray is at least a few inches away from you, like not, not getting into your eyes and blinding you because that will hurt if that gets into your eyes. Even on every bottle, it says spray eight to 12 inches. Let me see what this one says. Okay, this one does not have it. <laughs> so good luck, people. <laughs> Damn it, Jeff, you ruined my video. 
Okay, let's try that again now that Jeff is gone. So this one says, hold six to 12 inches away and spray on dry styled hair. And then on the Pureology one is spray eight to 12 inches from dry styled hair. In case of contact with eyes, rinse them immediately. So they also have warnings because some people had mishaps and that's why they have to put on the bottle. So it's good that they have the instructions. The Zyme one, it says shake well before each use, spray hair in short bursts from about 30 centimeters away. So obviously not close to your face. It's just not a way to do hairspray. So lesson one, read the label. Lesson two, away, a few inches away at least. And that way you get more surface area coverage. Cool? Cool. So there are a few ways to hold and use hairspray. So the first one is my favorite one and it's from down below. And all you do is just angle it up and just skip the spray. And I like to just kind of do like little zigzags, but I like to also hold my hair up or wherever I need to and give it a spray. That one is good because it covers where you want it to without having to go from the top. And I don't like that because hairspray makes it stick. And if you're someone like me that likes to run their hands through their hair, it gets tangled really easily afterwards. Another one is a zigzag but this is more if you're the person standing behind the person and helping them with the hair. So for example, like me being a hairdresser behind the chair, then I will just kind of spray in a zigzag like that just so it covers the whole surface area of the head. And um, if you're at home, then you can kind of do the same thing like I was saying with the down below, but I give it a big spray and then I will actually like walk under it and let it rain all down on my hair and then I'll just kind of grab where I need to and then just give it a spray where I need to. So there's that option too. Or you can go from above if you don't want to do the fancy like rain and walk through it. But um, I personally don't like it like this because I don't like it getting crunchy on the top here, but also the tangles, but it adds like shine too. So if you do like the shine, but, uh, depending on the hairspray that you're using, then you could do that method, but personally not for me. The only wrong way is obviously the one really close and if you're gonna eat it, don't eat it because it's not edible. It smells good, but it's not edible. So don't do that. But I think that's really it. Can't really talk more about hairspray. So I'm just gonna end the video here, but I hope that was helpful in some ways, a lot of ways. Shout out to my client, Chris. He's the one that gave me the idea for this video. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna end it here. So enjoy the rest of the day, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.